So I have it actually on my Windows PC, so I downloaded it for Windows. Then as soon as you download the MetaTrader 5 platform, it will look something like this. Not exactly, because you already see open trades. That is only possible when you already connected your MetaTrader 5 account with a broker. So you need a broker such as IC Markets or what's whatever. And then you simply punch in your login credentials here in the lower right corner in Login. Here you see I punched in my IC Market demo credentials. You can open as many demo accounts as you want with IC Markets. That's what I really like about them. It's also very convenient. And now you already see kind of a chunky old fashioned UI, right? So now you may wonder well, I see four assets or four symbols. Where are all the others? All the others are hidden here in the symbol um, tab. You simply click on it on this golden dollar sign and then you see all the assets your broker is providing. It always differs, so therefore it's also worthwhile checking this up front before you go for a broker to make sure that the assets you want to trade are actually covered by the broker. So let's go on Forex, let's go on Miners, and then if you're someone who really wants to trade Euro, Japanese, Yen, you simply double click on it, you click OK, and then you see magically this symbol, this asset will also appear in your market watch and then you can also simply open this chart window. You may or may not trade several kind of assets and after a while it's getting a little bit messy so you can also simply put them side by side by clicking on this tab and um, yeah that much to the UI to the most important tabs, buttons and features to get along and place your very first trades via the MetaTrader 5 platform. Now let's get to the actual first chapter of MetaTrader 5 for manual trading. So for that I will open the EURUSD chart once again. And as I already showed you, you simply click here on the upper tab, new order. You see this window will pop up here. Once again, you can actually also change the asset, the symbol, for example, for example to Great British Pound US Dollar. Uh, so you don't need an open chart to actually make a trade. Keep this in mind. I just do this for convenience. Here you can choose the yeah, volume or the lot size actually. Here you can define the stop loss and the take profit level. And uh, then you can simply instantly sell or buy by the market. However, if you don't want to use market execution, you simply go on type, you click on pending order, and then you can pretty much define all the different kind of types. Do you want to go short? Do you want to go long? How much risk do you want to take? Here you can define the lot size, you can define the price level, such as for example, 1.07. You could define here the stop loss, for example, 1.06. Doesn't really make sense, but this is just for demonstration purposes, right? And then you can simply place the pending order in the market. You see it pops up right here. And here we got our pending order. So that is how you simply use MetaTrader 5 for manual trading. It is fairly simple, but you can actually make it even simpler by our free trading bot, which is called Simplifier V1, which you can also get by simply checking out the video description, click on the link, you only have to punch in your email address, and then you can download this trading bot for completely free. And I will quickly show you what it can do. But also feel free to check out this video here in the upper right corner, where I'm going a little bit more into the details and the nitty gritties of this particular semi automated trading bot. So now we'll simply click that you see the chart is changing. I programmed this trading bot myself. I really like it when things are looking simpler. Therefore, I turned off the, the, the grid in the background and the candles are all black and or white in the background simply black. That is something what I like. So just a super quick explanation of how this trading panel is working because indeed it can be even simpler. You don't have to open this window when you have this trading bot running in the background. So here we can for example, define the risk size. So let's say you are a very careful and reasonable trader and you want to risk only 1.0.2% of um, your available yeah, balance what you have available. So let's say you want to have a stop loss of 20 pips. So you punch in 20 pips and you want to have a take profit risk to reward ratio of three. So what does it mean? Your stop loss will be 20 pips away from the entrance level. And when your risk to reward ratio is three, your take profit level will be three times more far away from the entrance level. So in that case, it would be 60 pips away from the entrance level. 
and let's say we want to go short. So here you see we just went short. Uh, it is almost 50 lots. Um, keep in mind, this is a demo account with 5 million US dollar in it. So my mistake, it looks a little bit pathetic, right? 50, 50 lots. But uh, you see, we instantly entered the market short on this price level. And you can actually see that the stop loss size and the take profit size is bang on because we entered on O. 0 0.70 and we are actually 20 pips above the entrance level and 60 pips below because it's short so the take profit is lower than the entrance level so the tool is working bang on simply check it out um, in the video i just shared before and if you feel like okay now it's good enough we are in profits well in that case we are not but let's just pretend we can also simply say okay close all sell trades we click this button all sell trades will be closed and that's that for the trading panel and also that's that about the manual trading section how you can use metatrader 5 for manual trading now let's switch over to the next topic, MetaTrader 5 for algorithmic trading or in a different sense, how can you use trading bots on MetaTrader 5? For that, I will simply open another chart window. Once again, EURUSD, an asset I really like because it's liquid. We will simply use a scalping trading bot. So that means you actually need a very highly liquid asset because you take tiny little profits out of the market with a relatively big stop loss. So you need to win like 80, 90, 95% of all the trades to make a scalping system worthwhile. And uh, yeah, let me actually close all the open trades and the pending orders. So it's looking a little bit cleaner. And since there's absolutely no blocker anymore for you, like wondering where do I get these trading bots, you can simply check out once again, the link in the video description where you get like a bunch of trading bots for completely free. We build those for you uh, to simply get your hands dirty, get a feeling what it means to have a trading bot in your portfolio. And this one is also available. Once again, I made a video about this particular scalping trading bot. Check it out here in the upper right corner if you want to get into the nitty gritties of that particular scalping trading bot. And now let's assume you simply, you just downloaded it and have it right now here in this folder. If you wonder how you do so, how you um, actually upload a trading bot on MetaTrader 5, once again, check out this video for an in-depth manual in how to do so. I will skip it for this video. You simply go on Expert Advisor, on advisors and then you click on the trading bot you want to apply. In that case, scalping trading bot, you simply drag and drop it. And then you see this window popping up and you want to allow modification of signals settings and you want to allow algo trading. Make sure that these two boxes are ticked and we keep actually the default settings. So we won't go crazy with this one. And uh, that's it already. No, you just applied a trading bot to your charts. It is trading live in the markets and you see it already took instant instantly trades yeah it's definitely a very interesting bot it's creating a lot of trades depending on the settings you are trading be careful please check out the video and um, do some back testing before and not actually to some classy mistakes i see quite often from newbies who are trying out algorithmic trading for example they are forgetting ticking these boxes i just uh, spoke uh, about already or they simply do not enable algo trading, simply meaning they did not click this button. So let's say by default, it is actually turned off. And then what you see this button, this symbol is also great. So make sure that this one is blue actually, um, because then this means that the trading bot is actively trading or processing data. But this also works the other way around. Of course, if you feel like that this trading bot is doing something weird and it's doing something out of control, you can always Turn it off by simply clicking here. Everything will be turned off and no new trades will be taken. Now you have seen it, how it works if you let if you let this trading bot running on one chart, but of course you can let it run on multiple charts. And we already <coughs> learned if we have multiple assets, we can simply make them visible by clicking on this symbol. And then you magically see, well, let's actually close this one. Let's click on it again. Now we see all of these charts open, very convenient. And what you can do, uh, once again, once again, you can simply drag and drop it on the charts. Now this will be also traded with the default settings. And let's say, for example, Great British US dollar, you don't want to trade it fully automated with this particular scalping trading bot, you want to trade it semi automated, you simply drag and drop this trading bot to this chart, you allow trading, you say yes, let's do it. And then this is also simply popping up. So this is all the magic. It is super simple in the end, how you can apply trading bots on the charts on MetaTrader 5. And that much to